in this identity the left hand side has two parts in the first part we have cos cube theta plus sin cube theta whole divided by cos theta plus sin theta and the second part is cos cube theta minus sin cube theta whole divided by cos theta minus sin theta we know that a cube plus b cube is equal to a plus b whole multiplied by a square plus b square minus a b similarly we can write a cube minus b cube as a minus b whole multiplied with a square plus b square plus a b in the first part we can apply the first identity where a stands for cos theta and b stands for sin theta in the second part the second identity can be used here a is for cos theta and b is for sin theta so after using these two identities to the left hand side left hand side will be turned as see cos cube theta plus sin cube theta it will be cos theta plus sin theta it is like a plus b and then a square plus b square minus a b whole divided by cos theta plus sin theta positive sign plus sign then cos cube theta minus sin cube theta can be expressed according to the second identity so it is cos theta minus sin theta then cos square theta plus sin square theta then plus sin theta cos theta okay whole divided by cos theta minus sin theta here cos theta plus sin theta these two terms can be cancelled and cos theta minus sin theta they can cancel each other we will have cos square theta plus sin square theta minus sin theta cos theta whole divided by 1 plus cos square theta plus sin square theta plus sin theta cos theta divided by 1 according to the trigonometric identities cos square theta plus sin square theta is equal to 1 so cos square theta plus sin square theta is 1 then minus sin theta cos theta divided by 1 the result is the same plus again cos square theta plus sin square theta is 1 then sin theta cos theta all four terms are in addition so 1 plus 1 is 2 and minus theta minus sin theta cos theta plus sin theta cos theta give the result 0 so 2 plus 0 is 2